This week at Coffee and Tools, this is what I'm talking about. So we're going to get into this little wood project. I could do it in 3D printing, I could do it in aluminum, I could do it in a lot of different mediums, but we're going to do it in wood just because we can. This is a quick project today, but uh, it's going to be pretty easy, but it alleviates a headache and a lot of us uh, guys that have cameras and do YouTube, creators, whatever, uh, camcorders, anything like that, this, this is something that I uh, came up with uh, in the last few weeks because uh, I was getting into a, a lot of problems and I was really getting worried about my camera, so I'll show you what goes on. A lot of times when I'm filming, I film like this and when I finish the cut, I auto automatically uh, grab the handle, release, and pull this pull this off the tripod. When I do that, I have this. Uh, I still have the uh, tripod mount still with me, and I just leave it on because that way it just makes it easy to clip it on, clip it, take it off, clip it on, clip it, take it off. The problem is when I get to my uh, computer, I put it on the computer table and it rocks around. It won't sit decently. If you even touch it, it'll fall over and it becomes a problem. So a lot of times what happens is I'll put it on a, my computer table, sometimes like that or something, but I'm always worried about it tipping or falling over. And I realize uh, out of aluminum, wood, a 3D printer, there's no reason at the computer table or in my, uh, I guess we call it the photo lab, the 3D printer lab, the office, whatever, uh, I can mount this. I could mount this thing and have a place where I could just shoot it in and store it while I grab the SD card out of it to upload some uh, stuff. Yeah, I could leave the camera out here, but there's so much dust and dirt, sometimes a lot of sawdust and stuff flying, that I bring the whole camera inside the computer room, sometimes clean the lens a little bit, clean the sensor and things, and set it up and set it aside. The problem is, it's top heavy. This is not the worst. I have a little monitor that sits here that I use sometimes too, which makes the whole rig really, really top heavy. So what I came up with was a way to just lock it into this and lock it to my uh, computer table or ant room and I don't have the problem. So let's see how we build that. So for this project, the first thing you're going to want is uh, some kind of a piece of scrap lumber, which I just happen to have right here. I've looked around my shop and this this is pretty much a piece of junk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually fairly flat, so that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, dimensionally, we're going to go six and a half inches. I think it was six, yeah, it was six and a half this way. So I looked around and I found a piece of scrap. So just find yourself a piece of scrap because ideally you don't have to make the exact same size, but I'll give you the sizes I'm using. You could use whatever size you feel comfortable with. Uh, I went six and a half inches and I think it went eight inches in length. Okay, so the first cut is right there. It's going to be six and a half inches. So we're just going to run that through the saw and let's see how we do. Okay, the next cut we're going to do is going to be eight inches, or no, seven and a half. Yeah, I think I go seven and a half with this. So the next cut I'm going to do is about seven and a half inches, or roughly thereabouts. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just a matter of, this is really a stand for the camera to sit on when it's at the computer desk. So, we'll lock it there, and again, we'll cut another piece. Nice. All right. So this is going to be our platform. So the next thing I want to do, because this is going to be uh, decorative, I'm looking at the top, we're going to put the router, we're going to do the router thing on it. Okay, welcome to the router table. This last time I used it, it wasn't really too happy, it didn't really 
give enough profile for what I was looking for. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's some pine lumber. It ain't the best, as they say. It's not great, but that makes kind of a nice framed out deal. So now we're going to build on top of this, and this is where we're going to actually lock that camera to this. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going back to the uh, hmm. again doing this on the cheap. Uh, how do you get 516s or something low? Well, I guess we'll cut this, uh, we'll run this through a couple times and see if we can get her down. <laughs> to where it needs to be. Uh -huh. Just, we're going to make this smaller. Now this is going to be, this is going to be a bit tight. It's a very small piece, so in order to do that, we're going to have to be almost right on top of this blade. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, the blade. We can back off just a hair. When you're making something this tight, you really need... Yeah, there you go. You really need special, a good saw or some special tools to get through here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so that's locked. This can go through, but not with my fingers. Now, what I do when it's this intense and I don't really want to get much into the saw what I'll do is I'll cut the angle up to about here and just and just stop yeah I won't finish the cut no okay That's lots of material right there to work with, so I don't need any more. So, like I said, I'm just going to cut short. Now we're going to hit the chop saw. So the first thing I want to do is just square the end up a little bit here because it's it's a little off. Huh. That's interesting. In fact, I'll even use the scale that's on the saw that shows three inches right here. There's one. And two. And there's the three pieces we need. That's it. Wow, huh? Couldn't be easier. Right, back here at the table saw. Go so back here at the table saw where we can make a really nice mess. There's our little plaque and there's our three pieces. Yeah, I guess I could sand and clean them up a little bit better. And they're going to be upside down to the angle. That is the angle is going to be like like this and the other piece is going to be like that. And we're just going to glue it in like that but we'll get the glue and we need a pattern. And I'm only going to use my little glue bottle because this is really a, this, <laughs> a small, small job. <laughs> but Let's get it right with that line in the wood here I've got here already and just put a piece of glue on that and get that stuck down because that's not going anywhere anyway. So let's do that and just throw some good old glue at it. Yep. Yeah, this is a hack. That's what this is. Yep. Now I'm going to glue that like that and We'll even clamp that. Come over here and do the same thing. Just imagine how easy this would be on the 3D printer instead of making it out of wood. <laughs> Am I complaining? No. Okay, so we got a good clamp. 
I've got glue coming out all, all around, which means I've got lots of good glue contact. And we'll let that sit up for about 15 minutes at least, maybe half an hour. And then we're going to come back and we're going to figure out where these guys go and we're going to glue them into place too. Easy. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. It's been at least uh, 15 minutes, so uh, glue should be set up enough that we can move to the next part of the plan. So this is now glued in. And also, make sure you use this glue. Don't use any other glue. If you use any other glue, it might not work. But this glue, it will work because it is it is a good wood glue. <laughs> now, the easy part. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is put some glue on these. And uh, after we peeled, I always love peeling the old dry glue off the top of these things. It's something satisfying about it. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to put a good smear of glue on that and get it on the table. Yeah, why not? That's where you're going. Uh, a good smear of glue on this, nice and sloppy. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. So while you were. Once the glue hardened, I glued the other two pieces down. Now the glue is still setting, so it's not fixed hard right now. So what I'm going to do is set my camera up like this, and I'm just going to make sure oops, that we have a good fit like that all the way there. And then slide her back out. Now I'm just going to let that sit up like that. I don't really like that. Let's, let's do that again. I really wasn't too happy with that. See, while the glue is drying, you can still uh, fine tune this thing a little bit. And there it is. I just did it again. Oh, right. So, anyways, once that's hard, we'll have a nice uh, piece that we can park the camera on. Mm. So, there you go. Uh, with uh, proof of concept. There's the camera. We're in the uh, office now, and this is a earlier model that I made. And you can just slide that up there with one hand, because I've only got one hand. And now it's sitting in the lumber, and that holds the camera steady for me while I take the SD card out and load it to the computer. Real simple, but really removes a lot of headache. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools.